Hello and welcome to this week's Chat Out. Today we've got myself Ed, we've got Tribune, Hello. and the return of Bane. Hi. She's back and welcome to Chat Out. Nice to see you again here in the yes, studio. It is. Now, uh, this week's episode is about growing up. What it's like to grow up, how it feels to grow up. So, guys, for you, what was it like growing up? Mm. I don't know. I think I had a pretty good childhood, I think. Um, I don't know, growing up. Do you ever really grow up? That's an interesting question. Do we ever fully grow up? I like to think I'm still a child at heart, maybe. When I'm not being miserable. (laughs) So a time out. Yeah, a time out. I don't know. You're married, you've got kids. I say that's pretty grown up nowadays. You've got your own place. Why is that class as grown up? I don't know. It's what society's view. Yeah, I've grown up now. Why is it when you've got married and had children? I still feel 16. 16. <laughs> yeah. But don't you find like our parents saying that to us? Like They still feel they young. They still feel 16. Like, then, you know. Maybe yeah. you get to that point where you are yourself and you may change slightly or, or events in your life mould you into who you are, but you've still got that core you that's been there since you were like two or whenever your personality yeah, I agree with that. So it's almost like that's why you never feel 100% grown up because you've always got that. Hang on, there's a part of me that still feels the same as when I was a toddler. Or something. Oh, God, yeah. That's more of a um, philosophical view of it, isn't it? Mm. Like, physiologically, 25, you're technically grown up, that's when you're supposed to have stopped growing physically, isn't it? Yeah. And then, and then so, you just go outwards. Yeah. Or, <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. No, no comments. Um, so, from that. Point of view, 25, you're officially, you know, that's it. You are, you become what you become. Um, I don't mean you stop though. No, no, I don't mean because like, I mean like growing in height and you know, yeah. you, 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 your basic build is there at 25. But then, I think you, you, you're gradually, you're always changing. Like, oh, yeah. Physically, you change. I mean, weight comes and goes. Um, your body, your face changes as you get older. And I think more importantly, your mind. More wrinkles. Crop. Um, uh, uh, molds and 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 changes into who you're becoming, and you're constantly becoming what you're eventually going to be, which never really ends until you die. It's almost like you're constantly, but you've still got that core you in the middle. But then you're molding extra parts of you, extra layers, and depending on the events that happen, and you become more interesting, or you just become really, really pointless. Yeah, well, there's different yeah. stages, isn't there? So I'd say, kind of, you peak appearance and physical ability peaks when you're 25 when you stop growing and then you start disintegrating (laughs) (laughs) in the sense of your body (laughs) in the sense of your body yeah yeah actually you don't really peak personality wise and some people even career wise till way beyond 25 yeah so that doesn't peak till a lot later I think for some people it's an ongoing thing until the day they die, isn't it? Well, we're always changing and always evolving. Well, you think. never reach any sort of ability or peak, do you? I don't no, you don't. Learn, isn't it? There's always more to I think if you peak, and that, that's kind of it, then you're on a downward spiral to basically death. And that's but how you get miserable. We're always wanting to peak, aren't we? We're always saying, oh, can't wait till we get here. Yeah. But I yeah. think that's why you get miserable bastards because they feel there's nothing else and they just yeah, but waiting to die. Is that but then you have no. no. <laughs> you have like small milestones, though, don't you? So you say, oh, you know, next the next big peak in my life will be thirty, and then you get to there and you think the next big peak in my life will be forty or something, or it'll yeah. be, or I'm getting married at thirty-two, or I'm having a kid or something, and something else always gets in place. It's when you finally you've done all the peaking you can do, and then it's just like oh. Yeah, I sort of get what you mean. As soon as you give up that sort of... For me, I see my life as chapters, almost like... Yeah, I do. Like a very small, vaguely remembering chapter, then sort of childhood, and then sort of teenagers, and then sort of that weird, for me, late teenager, <laughs> early 20s, and then sort of getting your own place in the car, and then sort of more serious relationships and stuff like that, and then going into adulthood, and... Um, I feel this might sound really weird but I feel like in the last for, for multiple reasons I feel in the last year or two last, last year or two I feel like I've really moulded into 
a man I've always wanted to be, but don't know if I could be, and still working to find who he is. But then again, it, weirdly enough, I've always felt grown up, even as a kid. Like, most kids would want to watch cartoons. I'd want to watch a boring documentary about space and the planets. Yeah, yeah, I know you mean. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. I always was quite wise beyond my years. When I was younger, I was always seen as the older one, mm. looking after the others, and I felt really grown up in my head. My appearance was very grown up. I did a lot of things younger um, than most. But at the same time, I don't feel like I've changed at all in the respects. I don't feel like I've chosen different paths. It's just kind of fallen into place and it's only now I feel I think since I've moved to rugby I feel that I've chosen certain things to do with my life and kind of insisted on who I want to be and where I want to be but because of the paths I've had during growing up I feel that it's harder to get there now if you don't start making the choices for you at young age, it's quite difficult to make those choices when you get older. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know, for me personally, I, I always... I don't know, I was sort of, sort, of, sort of took society's view of, you know, growing up is, you know, moving out, getting, a, getting your own place, getting the cliche 2.5 kids and the wife and stuff, but I think... In actual fact, it's more of a case of, you know, I think it's much in reality, that, grow, growing up has got it's got much more to do with that. It's uh, it's more about you know connecting with yourself on a deeper level and knowing yeah, that you've grown up, yourself yeah, and who you want which to is play. a massive factor because I know a lot of teenagers and I know I did it to start to high school. I really struggled with sort of finding who I was and you know and the real rebellious stage and stuff and. You got, you know, you need to figure out who you are and what you actually really want to do. Um, you know, some people never do, but I think truly growing up is sort of finding that sort of niche that you uh, uh, to who you are and sort of like following that sort of path. But um, so, I mean, when you look at yeah, look at now, like you know, going into the care industry and stuff, but it's sort of actually nowadays. I don't think that's for me, and I want to go on a, down a different career path and. You know, so it's a case of trying to follow that and being a grown up and being like, well, I'm not going to do that anymore. I need to move on to something new and actually mm. doing it, not just saying it. Would you say you're like me in the sense of like, people would always ask me what I want to do when I grow up and just to keep you happy, I would just say anything like, yes, I want to be a doctor, I want to do this or that. But until very recently, I've never ever really, it's just not interested me in the sense of like career wise, but more recently, I feel like I really, I'm starting to know. I'm starting to really realise what I want, and I've never really had that. It's almost like I know what I want, and and sort of, um, and, and trying to find a way how to how to get that, or um, you know, in the sense of career wise, say, um, you know, one of my ambitions that I'm trying to do is eventually be self-employed or. Um, uh, in invest in money and stuff like that. I mean, maybe I should be a banker, but I don't like words and stuff. But the point I'm getting is, I feel like I'm, I'm starting to have a bit of uh, say in your life. Yeah, and, and direction. Say. Yeah, say in my life, direction, doing what I want to do. Not, not trying to, not saying I don't. Not care. to please others, please yeah, yourself it's almost like, without it sounding arrogant. Yeah, I feel like I've spent a lot of my life. Trying to please family and friends and blah blah blah. Doing what blah. they want you to do rather than like, what you want yeah, to do. And, and what you of, had to do to get through, really. Yeah, yeah. And it's almost like, okay, I'll go to college because blah blah. Because that's blah, the norm and that's everybody else wants to do yeah, rather than what I, mean? I want to do. Yeah. And I'll get to a point where actually I want this, 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 and this. And I'm going to try my absolute hardest to work it is. And in the sense of life and growing up, I think, you know, you could argue forever what it's me in life. But for me personally, it's very much about self-growth, finding who you are through different experiences, people you meet, and trying to find people that build you as a person, and um, and I think that's the thing that happens for your entire life, I don't think there's ever a peak in that, and it's almost like, so I've always said to like my, my youngest brother for instance, that okay, English, math, science, very important, 
But going on the card a little bit here, the most important thing is almost like history or uh, uh, what's the word? Not psychology. Um, when you think of ideas, philosophy. Yes, yeah, and I think that's the most important thing in life, like working out who you are, what's important to you, ways of getting what you want, but without. Do you know what I mean? And sort of finding who you are, making yourself a better person, but not in like a, yeah, Superman, you know, sort of like, and trying to make yourself a person that other people want to be around. And that might sound really weird, but that's something that I've really tried to do now I'm real as in who I am. I'm not saying I'm anywhere near that. I'm not trying to say I'm like, yes, I'm yeah. amazing, John Cena. I'm just sort of saying like I'm trying to make myself, because I feel I have abilities to encourage others. I've found that to be one of my gifts, to encourage others to do what they want to do and give them the push to do that. And then by doing that, improve myself as a person, who do I want to be? Do I like who I am? If I don't, try to change bits to make myself more likeable to myself. Therefore, the people you want to have around you will like you more. Mm. But not because you want to be liked more, but because that makes you a better person, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I feel, and, and, and finding the right people to have around you. And I think that's so important. I know I'm waffling now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I must admit, I think the past couple of years, with me feeling like I've grown up and kind of making decisions for myself, I think it's down to the people that I've had around me, because I've never had people around me like I have now, and I just think that has made me grow as a person so much. No, it's cool. Definitely. It's cool. No, it's really cool to say it's yeah. Sure. Okay. No, that's no, so that's good. Okay, well thank you for that guys. That was a really interesting episode. Thank you, Tribune, yeah, thank, thank you, Bang. And hope Cheers. to see you guys again in the next episode. Chat it out. And thank you the T Ram Universe for listening and tuning in. We hope you uh feel free to comment or give suggestions about topics blah, blah, blah. and uh see you next time. So from Tribune Goodbye. From Bang. Bye. And from Meg, see you soon.